Time to go. Uh, all right, well, crisis averted again, because here I am. Okay. All right. Ready, Craig? Yep. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mice in the Attic. I'm your host, Alex Carl, and this is the show where we introduce you to new and up-and-coming musicians by streaming their performances live from the Attic of Tonal Vision Studios here in Baltimore, Maryland. As always, I encourage you to like and share this video. That helps us out. And please feel free to comment and ask questions in the comments section below, and I'll get them over to the artists today. Today we have Ken Gutberlet, a rootsy Americana artist who has been a stalwart of the Baltimore community for over 20 years. Why don't you come on in? Thank you for joining us today, Ken. Oh, Alex. Thanks, man. What's up, pups? So I don't want to take up any more of your time. Why don't oh, you... Yeah. Uh, Tell everybody at home a little bit about yourself and about this first song you're going to be playing. <laughs> yeah, I smell good. Um, <laughs> or, really bad. Things, so, or really bad. Or really bad. Shower. Um, yeah, my name's Ken. Uh, pleasure to be here at Mice and the Attic. Very awesome. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you for coming. Um, I do a lot of uh, guitar picking around town, around the Mid-Atlantic. Um, yeah, play some of my own stuff. Play some stuff that other people have recorded through the years, you know. Songs people know, songs people don't know. Very cool. Act a little silly. Songs people want to know. A little. <laughs> a little. <laughs> so what's this uh, first song you're going to be playing for us Oh, Lord, I'll bang one out. Um, well, it's a time of year between Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day, and so this song you know, fits into that schedule. But uh, I spent a, spent a long, uh, long time waiting in line at um, a party city one afternoon. I learned a lot about the financial situation of the people in front of me, uh, you know, so I had some time to think about it. And... Hopefully the line wasn't so long that you were able to write the entire song there. <laughs> no, no, not quite. <laughs> What's the title? Wrong Line. Wrong oh. Line, all right. Yeah. Everybody enjoy Wrong Line by Ken Gutberlet. Sweet. Eleven thirty, Tuesday morning, teeth barely brushed, eyes red as the pick through post Valentine sale. My coat reeks like a strip club. Well, I came for a beer mug I could wear on my head. Then I chose a register where some lucky kids, mom and loads of shopping cart, and it brims with endless Peter Pan party hats, plates, napkins. Working through well-worn singles one at a time. I picked the wrong line, wrong line. Picked the wrong line, wrong line. I had a choice but paid no mind. I picked the wrong line. Tinkerbell pencils ring up like an alarm and heart machine. I'm thinking, while we're young, is it worth it? These shamrock shades, this Danny boy playing empty green mug. Now the next counter over, Mr. AARP bought his grandkid a car. He's turning to leave. At the end of my rainbow, the gold's lost its gleam. I'm envious. Next in line, could have been me. Pocket lint from my pennies and dimes. So I picked the wrong line, wrong line. Picked the wrong line, wrong line. I had a choice, but I paid it no mind. I picked the wrong line. Maybe if I set an alarm, maybe if I plan, maybe, maybe it's an excuse for where I am. Credit card not expired, but often declined. I picked the wrong line, wrong line. Picked the wrong line, wrong line. Choice, buddy. 
paid no mind. I picked the wrong line. Wrong line. Picked the wrong line. Wrong line. Picked the wrong line. Well done. Thank wrong you, thank line. You, thank you. <laughs> Great way to start off your set today, man. Oh, oh, I love thanks, that. Thanks, Alan. So first and foremost, why don't you tell everybody, where can we find your music? Oh, it's, uh, you know, all the great streaming sites of the world, of the <laughs> non-world. Spotify and, you know, Napster and Apple and, you know. Very cool. So, someone's on YouTube. And... So if you got it, you've got the app, you can find you. Mm -hmm. Whatever that app is. Yep, yep. I like it. So... How many um, albums do you have out right now? Uh, three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. Yes. Explain that number to me a little bit. Well, so you put out three like fully produced ones where you send them out to get mass distributed, then you put out a little mini guy, because the EP is the okay. trade term, that you self-produce and just a few songs. And... Gotcha. So all um, three uh, LPs or full-length albums... Those are all online right now for uh, anybody to listen to. How about the EP? Is that the same case? Um, I think one of the songs included in a compilation from the Baltimore Songwriters Association, actually. So Okay. Yeah, other than that, I think the other, the other two are buried somewhere in my brain. Very cool. So tell me about the Baltimore uh, Songwriters Association. What's that all about? Well, it's... Um, yeah, and traditionally it's been an awesome organization that encourages songwriting, encourages community. You know, a lot of musicians don't know how to get together with other musicians, and so we would we would have meetings where people would bring in songs and they'd get feedback about you know what people like, what people thought could improve it. Um, we'd done other things in the past, like showcases and open mics, and put out several CDs and workshops. And we're kind of in a lull right now, just because. Um, the people that were, you know, <clears throat> in charge at a, you know, took a, little, <laughs> took a little time, but we hope to get some stuff going again this year. So. Very cool. So should we uh, just expect to see news about that on your Facebook page when things do get yeah. picking pick back yeah. up? The, the Baltimore Songwriters Association has its own Facebook page, too, Oh, perfect. So. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, do you uh, prefer to write uh, that way with a bunch of other people, or are you more often a solo songwriter? Well, I, I do most of it solo. I've uh, collaborated a few times, uh, most frequently, most recently with, with Joe Scala. We, uh, for, okay. Uh, Shout out to uh, Joe Scala. Joe Scala. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've done a few times, a few uh, uh, collabs during February album writing month, which you know is wrapping up right now for everybody that's you know got some songs to write. Very cool. I didn't and what's participate this what's that all about? You're supposed to write 14 month. songs and like about the length of an album in 28 days, or on leap year, 14 and a half songs. So <laughs> there's that half again. However you want to play that. Well, that's like a hell of a project. How, how are yeah. you doing with that? Well, I, I kind of started thinking about doing it, and then I kept thinking about doing it. So that's where I am now. So it's still a good idea, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got some ideas churning, which is all I, what it's all about. Because once you you bang out a bunch of stuff real quickly like that, and you don't have time to edit, and you don't have sure. time to go back and polish it up, and so... Sometimes I feel like that's where the real stuff is, though, when you don't go back and have time to edit. You know, well, that's it's just true. like the raw feeling yeah, coming out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've, some of the stuff that comes out I'm really happy with, but then a lot of times I feel like I need to go back and adjust some things. And is that how you, you write? You Do you kind of put something on the shelf and and then maybe come back to it after some time has passed so you can polish it up a little bit? Yeah, a lot of times. I mean, sometimes if I, if I bang something out and I'm pretty happy with it, I'll you know go test it live and see how it does. And if it feels good to me and, you know, if other people, you know, whatever they do to it, then maybe I say, hmm. <laughs> maybe, you know, just keep it as it is. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this next song of yours? Oh, all right. Well, this is, is going to be an old school song. I played on this fancy uh, hubcap thing here. Uh, resonator guitar for those that don't have their picture book to follow along at home. Um, so basically back in the day before amplification, the guitar couldn't be heard very well in the in the jam bands in the, in the music hall. So someone had an idea of putting a metal speaker in here to amplify the sound a little. It gives it a little bit of twang and a little bit of extra volume. So very I'm cool. not going to be playing it that loudly here, but... All right, well, give us some of that twang. What's your uh, what's the name of the tune? Well, this is a, a way old school classic of mine, but I know some people like it. It's called Mermaid. Mermaid. All right, everybody enjoy Mermaid. Thank you. <laughs> hey, 
Hey ho, Joe, why you crying? What's been bringing it to your knees? I got those restless, wandering feelings. Take me to the Florida Keys. She wants to be a mermaid. Keep the dolphin in the sea. Like she would trade, but her life won't let it be. Fantasies and storybooks, this other world entrancing looks fine. Handsome men who sail the sea, they seriously, it's a dream. Well, that's just what she lived till now. She wants to make it real somehow. Frolic with the whales and fish. Others, I can't start the list, and the good fortunes for her, I wish. Pirates, they want more than golden chains. Well, you know they just won't bother me. Not with all the friends I'll make. She wants to be a mermaid. Keep the dolphin in the sea. Her whole life she would trade. But her life won't let it be. Complacency has brought her around to want the life she had found desirous in her dreaming days. But now the choice she has to make is toughened by a much love prince. Stress is getting painful since she's someone who truly cares. The decision she makes is theirs. But should she make sure it's fair to herself, to her man? Should she take a life by her own hand to her peace? Deep inside, is she really gonna take that southern ride to the sea? To the sea, leave behind the world, leave behind the feet, drift away, drift away to a new fine life. Hear what I say? Hey, ho, Joe, hope you're happy. Let you find feeling free Thank you for your understanding And for helping me live my dream she got to be a mermaid Keeps a dolphin in her sea Her whole life she did trade but a happiness she could keep Thank you, and thank you. Uh, you know, it's good that you like your own music. Yeah. <laughs> Not everybody's as lucky, you know. Yeah, for sure. So. You're obviously very talented on multiple types of guitars, but I understand that a uh, guitar is not your only uh, instrument that you play. You play ukulele and mandolin, and you go so far as to also teach strings. I do. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that for uh, anybody who's looking to learn the strings around the Baltimore area. Yeah, yeah. I've um, been teaching guitar lessons for I don't know how many years, fifteen years, something like that. Um, and ukuleles, and uh, right now I'm even teaching fiddle. Oh, no kidding. Don't ask me to play the fiddle, but I can tell you how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Those who can't, right? <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly. I do all ages, all levels, you know, beginners to more advanced people, especially with the guitar. Um, or the guitar. But yeah, I need, you know, I, I you know, coach songwriting. I've, you know, done workshops with that in the past. and Just trying to, you know, encourage everybody to keep playing music. It's a great thing. You know? Wonderful. And so how long have you been teaching about? Um, I don't know, 15 years, something like that, maybe... So you're, 20, not, you're not new to the game, then? No, no. I've been doing it for a while. <laughs> Wonderful, so, man. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, thank you on behalf of all your students for doing that. Oh, hey, you're welcome. <laughs> well, thank them. So uh, tell us a little bit about song number three. Um, so 
you know, I, I play a lot around uh, a lot of uh, um, solo shows around town. I play with some other bands, play with a duo called Go Kart. My awesome friend Jess playing the drums and singing. Play with the Katie Bowers band. I played with them last Saturday. I play with a group called the Natty Bros. We do a bunch of classic rock and Grateful Dead, having a great time. I used um, to play with a band in Cincinnati by the name of Katie Lauer. Katie Lauer? That's really strange. That is strange, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I heard you say that. Yeah. So it's it's fun to mix and match with a bunch of people. Uh, but I, um, I do a lot of solo shows. And one of the places where I... Um, did a lot of solo shows, was a place called Ledbetters, which is no longer of there. Close about, um, getting on three years now, I guess. Um, and last year, well, maybe a year and a month ago, the uh, owner that was there for a long time, Tom Cooper, passed away after he had, he had retired from owning Ledbetters, unfortunately. And um, just, you know, a lot of nostalgia came up, talking to people, and um, uh, this song came out, and it originally was a lament. And I was like, no. Oh, a celebration because yes the building might not be there for us to all enjoy anymore well it's still there but it's different but the people that we know that's what it's all about the community is still intact yes. even if the business is not yes exactly i love it man so yeah well wonderful you got a uh, title for it it's called down on thames down on thames how appropriate <laughs> Embrace all who felt at home. such an important place for the Baltimore oh, music scene for so many years. Yeah, for sure. I know a lot of people that got their start there. I, you know, I pretty much was my first regular gig. and I ran the open mic night there for a bunch of years. I met a lot of awesome folks, awesome musicians. It's, 
That's really yeah, cool. Have, have they heard it too? Have they heard this song? Some people have. I don't know if I've told too many what it's about when they played it, but you know, yeah. I like surprises. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I, I'm sure anybody who knows that place and is familiar with how important, you know, was the music scene at the time would yeah. really appreciate that well, thank song. You. And you thank for you. writing it. I I'm know okay. I do. <laughs> so tell us about uh, some more upcoming gigs that you've got coming up. Okay. Well, it's it's my my winery tour weekend this weekend. Ooh, tell us more. So I guess tomorrow's Friday. I'll be out at Black Ankle, which is out near Frederick, out in Mount Airy. Beautiful country, delicious wine. Um, th- all these places are more fun in the summertime because. They're outside, but well, different fun. They're always playing all outside. Fun. No, I'll be inside in, in, in the warm say, weather. In the warm weather, it's different fun. Not more fun. It's more fun tonight or tomorrow. It'll be awesome. It's always more fun when you're there. Right? Yes, exactly. yeah, there you go. <laughs> there's wine, you know. And then Sunday, I'll be out at Dijon Winery out in uh, Long Green Valley, the beautiful Long Green Valley. So, awesome chance to play, uh, yeah, play some music at, at beautiful places. That's Join fantastic. Next time, I'll be in the uh, Fells Point Arby at Cat's Eye. Cat's Eye Pub doing a Friday happy hour on the 22nd of March, so that should be good. Okay. Um, after that, um, I don't know. I make my way around. I don't know. So a bunch of stuff on my website and Very on nice. my space space pages and things like that, you know. <laughs> and you recently spent some time in uh, Europe. I did, yeah. I was there for a couple weeks in November. Um, uh, there's a circuit over there that plays a lot of pubs, mostly in Copenhagen. And there's a reunion for people that have been doing it for, I don't know how many years, since the 80s, so you know, getting on 40 years for some of them. Uh, and it was a great chance to go over there and see some folks I hadn't seen in you know, a dozen years and meet some folks I just heard stories about. Sure. Um, yeah, it was, it was wonderful. Uh, and you go over there and you, you, um, you play pretty much every night. <laughs> H- had a night off where we had the reunion, and then... Um, I got one other night off for some reason. But, yeah, you go around and you visit the people and you end up playing something anyway, and it's all good and entertaining. I'm doing a lot of sing-alongs. And... Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that there was a particular city or uh, venue that you liked the most? Well, I've been pondering this since we talked about it. I was okay. like, I have to, yeah, you know, the, t- the story of San Moritz. So um, the same circuit, there was a, uh, well, basement bar. San Moritz, you think of all the glitz and glamour. But this bar catered to all the staff that worked in the hotels and the okay. restaurants. So they would come in there and just have a raucous party. Everybody dancing on the tables. And um, so all, the the guy who ran the place, um, he, all he told me was, loud, I want loud. He was Portuguese, so he didn't speak a lot of English, so he couldn't communicate much. <laughs> but he, he, but he could tell loud, that. with force, with force. So, you know, I, I was busting strings, and I was <laughs> rock and roll screeching. And yeah, it, it went along well. The problem was that... Yeah, it's smoking. There's no ventilation in there. I could barely see the bar by, oh God, by and midnight. Oh, God, in the basement. Yeah, uh. and so I was smoking a pack of cigarettes every night. Um, and it was just, yeah, oh, it wrecked my voice. But Oh, yeah. I went back in the next year because it was so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> For more gluttony. Oh, it sounds <laughs> more so fun. Earth the Viking is true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it was, yeah, it was, it was, I mean, that place is beautiful. They, um... They, the lake froze, so they set up uh, a polo grounds for part of the winter. Then they have horse races out there for part of the winter. On the yeah, lake? On the lake with oh you know, 100 God. cars parked out there in grandstand. It's, wow. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Seems pretty dangerous, but cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody else is out there. Let's go do it. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, if everyone else is here, let's run more. The ice ain't going to break. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool, man. Yeah. Well, cool. we've got uh, one more song. Okay. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? All right. Well, um... The one time I did complete February album writing month, it was maybe four, five years ago, six years ago, something like that. Um, and I was doing a lot of swimming at the time. I was training to swim across the bay with a Chesapeake Bay swim. Oh, wow. So that was cool. So um, when you're trying to write 14 songs in 28 days, you're coming trying to get ideas going. And, you know, so swimming came to my brain. So uh, Very nice. I was writing some kids songs. And this is appropriate for all ages. Wonderful. We all swim in the deep end sometime. Oh, ain't that the truth. What's the title? Swimming in the deep end. Swimming in the deep end. There you go. All right. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Thanks, Alex. Cheers, man. I couldn't wait to get out of school. Tonight I take my test at the pool 
I'm swimming from the shallow side over to the deep end. The lifeguard blows the whistle to go. I push off with all ten toes. I'm swimming from the shallow side over to the deep end. I see metals draped around my neck. My bathing suit dripping wet. It won't be long. Now I'm swimming in the deep end. Hey, Michael Phelps, we're gonna race. I won't come in second place. It won't be long. Now I'm swimming in the deep end. will be asking for me I'll die for every penny I see But right now I can spot the bottom of the deep end I'll jump off of my uncle's pier I'll swim to Ireland from here But right now I can smack the wall of the deep I see the metals draped around my neck My bathing suit dripping wet It won't be long Now I'm swimming in the deep end Hey Michael Phelps, we're gonna race I won't come in second place It won't be long now I'm swimming in the deep end In the deep end In the deep end Hey, Michael Phelps, thank you, thank we're going to race, and I won't come in second place. Bam! I love it. <laughs> Roll it now! All right, well, Michael, you've been challenged, uh -oh. so you have to uh -oh. accept this now. <laughs> If not, Ken wins, and he gets yeah, all yeah. the medals. There you go. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> yeah, isn't this nice? It's a good yeah. way to become an Olympian. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on oh. the show today, man. This has been awesome, a real man. treat. Yeah, so for thank me. You. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Is there anything that you would like to tell the folks at home before we uh, wrap this oh. up? Thank you all for hanging out. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and uh, sorry if we had some glitches in there. But uh, I think they all got smoothed over, or at least redone, so good enough, right? Yeah, I think so. I would say so. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah, man. Yeah, definitely. All right, everybody, uh, join us again in two weeks for another episode of Mice in the Attic. Uh, it's 7 o'clock, and uh, see you then. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening. Yeah.